Hi everybody. Uh, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to start your own Rust server, uh, your personal Rust server, uh, with RSM on a local connection. So you're going to start by extracting all the files from the RSM folder. And these are what you're going to be left with. Um, so just open RSM. You're going to get a warning. Just hit run anyway. Uh, it's going to ask you for donations. Hit no. Uh, Steam group, no, and you're already in the Discord if you downloaded RSM with the link I put in the description, so you can hit no. Um, it's going to start you on this server config screen. Uh, server name, server description, very self-explanatory. Uh, server URL, it's just a, it's for the Rust uh, server select screen. So there's the banner, it'll be the picture that you see. Um, down here in the variables, this is the seed, this is how the map looks, uh, the world size, is how big the map is. Max players, obviously how much people are allowed on your server at one time. Uh, server IP, server port, um, keep all of these the same. Unless you want to change the world size or the seed, but I'm just going to leave it the same. Um, you're going to need this Archon password later on once we make ourselves an admin uh, so uh, you can edit everything you want here and then go over to the server installer page and click install slash update server it's gonna say error steamcmd.exe cannot be found do you want rsm to install it for you and yes you do so it's gonna start the download uh, hit main and it'll begin the server installation so you can kinda sit tight while this happens this tends to take a while the first time so especially depending on your internet if you have slow internet then it'll take a while so I'll be right back uh, let's talk to you when it's done okay uh, so now that that is done updating you're gonna click install oxide mod and it will install oxide mod this is gonna be where you can manage your plugins but for now just click start server and just let this play out as well it's gonna take a while uh, make sure that let's see where is it it's gonna say the seed and the map size make sure they match up with what you have in your uh, config it'll say it eventually yeah there it is six thousand and eight eight five six one three four that's exactly what we have uh, so yeah now just wait for that to be done with and then I will check back in with you Okay, uh, so once your server looks like this, the CMD, it'll say Steam server connected. That's how you know it is working and it is perfect. So after that, this is the time where you'll be able to install your mods. Um, this website, umod.org, it's the hub for all Rust mods and plugins. Got pretty much anything you can think of here. Uh, the only one that I want right now is building. And it's going to be build cost by Orange. This one's pretty sick, very useful, knowing how much your builds cost. But I don't have to download it since I already have it, so I'm going to open my RSM folder. Uh, I'm going to go to Server, Default, Oxide, hit Plugins. Folder's empty because I don't have any. Uh, there's that. Throw it in there real quick. And now I have my plugin in there. And you can tell it just loaded it while the server was still open. It's pretty nice. Building cost by orange is now in my server. Um, and next, you're going to make yourself the admin. So to do that, extract the files from Rust admin. Can minimize everything else at the moment. Okay. Go to the folder and open the program. It's going to give you another warning. Just run it anyway. Okay, uh, so this is Rust Admin. It's pretty useful. It's a hub of server control, essentially. So you're going to configure your server. Make sure you hit Web Archon. Go to 127.0.0.1. Server port is 28015. Your Archon port is 28016. Oops. And then your Archon, your password, this is the Archon password that you configured in uh, Rust Server Manager. So just copy, paste that one in there, and that should be all you need to connect. 
Uh, now you save your configuration, I'm naming this one test because this is my test server. And you have your configuration saved. So now in order to connect, server and connect, and it should work, and we are connected. Got zero out of 50 players, and we're connected to our local server. <clears throat> so now to make yourself an admin, so you can spawn in items and fly around and whatnot and do all the fun stuff. Um, go to your console and hit console in here as well. This will show you important information. And under command to execute, type owner ID and then your Steam ID. And you can find your Steam ID by going to your Steam profile and copying the numbers on the end of the URL. That's your Steam ID that owner ID paste and then you can add whatever name you want to go by on the server I'm just gonna say John it's my steam name and it says added owner John steam ID whatever and now we are an admin so we should be able to fly spawn items and do all the other admin stuff <laughs> you can ban people as well on here it's a pretty cool app uh, we don't need most of these we just need the uh, the owner command uh, but yeah it's connected it's ready to go so I'm going to open up Rust and then try to spawn in some items on my server. Okay, so now that you have Rust open, open up your console, whatever button you have it bound to, and type client.connect uh, space localhost, and put your server port to it 015, and should connect. There you go. Alright, and now you're spawning to your own server. I don't know why every time I make a server, the map is very blurry. Don't know how to fix that, and it spawns me in with low graphics by default. But all you have to do is turn them up. There we go. Uh, now we just have to test that we can actually spawn in our items. Give myself a Okay, there we go. Got the LR, perfect. Give me some ammo for this. Sick. Alright, uh, does our fly bind work? Yes, it does. If you want to bind a key to fly, uh, open your console type bind C no clip or whatever other key you want I like C and yeah you can no clip fly around look at everything it's pretty nice and yeah now you're an admin on your own rust server all right uh, that's gonna be it for today hopefully you guys are already on your new rust server and everything worked perfectly for you as it did for me um, if it did, definitely toss this video a like. I think this is the easiest way to make a server uh, for Rust in 2020. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. I'll be making a lot more content just like this, Rust tutorial type videos. Um, yeah, uh, peace out and have a good night.